Okay, I'm back in the yard. We got home around a little bit after two today. And I decided just to go on and take a break, a rest. It's now after 5.30. So now I'm going to get on these garden beds with the old greens and cauliflower and everything else. And I'll be cutting these out. In fact, I'm looking at the seed pods. And some of these seed pods don't even look that great. So I'm trying to get the camera face so it's not so much in the sun. But yeah, there are like aphids crawling on top of this um, green container. I'm happy I went ahead and closed it today. And there's starting to be a little breeze picking up. So let me go ahead and get and get started on this hot mess <laughs> right here.
so um, the aphid infestation was really bad. Um, you notice I even pulled out the onions. They were on, hopefully it's not on me, um, the onion stalks. When I get in the shower today, I'm going to wash everything real good from the rooter to the tuta because aphids make me itch. Um, I don't know if you could tell in the video, but the top of the soil is really gray so aphids. When, <clears throat> when I turned the camera off, I looked because I had put the top on top of the green container. Let me straighten this out. Sorry. I had put the top on top of the green container and um, there were aphids crawling on around it. So I took my water hose and sprayed it. And then the aphids, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me. Mm, they started getting back on the bok choy and the um and the broccoli so i have some seven s-e-v-i-n in my shed i'm about to pour half of it into my sprayer these aren't aphids no those are seeds sorry and i'm about to hit both these beds really really good because i have one more bed over here to hit can't see it that one right here um i need to get that bed i even pulled out the onions because the aphids were on the onions the onions were growing one looked like it had rotted out but they were on the onions so i have to nip this in the bud right now i thought i need to change out the soil soil costs a lot of money and even though it got infested with aphids the soil is still good if i could kill them eradicate 95 to 99 percent of them i think that'll be good um, my tomatoes are supposed to go here and um yeah i got a soil sifter that i need to put together so um, i think i'm going to spray the seven first and then till this soil till it till it and then spray 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 till it till it until I kill this because I bet you it's on my ground too so I'm just gonna spray the seven spray it everywhere because it's um, it's it's really bad and it's as you can see how I'm itching but it's your garden do what you need to do for your garden I will not recommend people use seven it's it's not organic but obviously organic wasn't working and if your neighbors are doing stuff and they're not organic then your stuff can spread to your yard so let me start yapping and um and get to this right now okay so i have my chapman sprayer i put seven some seven up to here i guess about right there and the rest with water um and i'm about to spray there was um I had the water hose in one in the bed over there with the broccoli and there were aphids on it. So that shows you how uh, how bad it is. So let me go ahead, turn this camera around and uh get the spraying.
okay I just like sprayed everywhere now I'm itching I'm, I don't think there's any on me but they make me itch they make me itch so now I'm gonna get the chiller and I'm gonna till this soil right quick these beds and then um, I'm gonna spray some more so um, I see little bugs flying around which means I'm getting them and um, I'll be back in a minute you guys
and there's an aphid right here. Aphid on my camera. I told you they fly. They do fly because they be trying to get away. There was aphids on my little light fixture I have on my garden bed. And I think the seven is calming them down. Yeah, they flying now. Put my mask back on. Sorry, I hope you can hear me. They flying. That, that that was work that was work so um i thought i was gonna get to this garden bed today i'm a little bit too itchy uh maybe i could do it tomorrow i'm bringing you over here to this other other garden bed let me turn this turn this around you see yeah there was um when i came out when I came back from running errands, there were um, aphids in the line crawling up here, all right here. It was just like an aphid fiesta. Looks like it's still some in there. <sighs> I'm gonna have to have to spray some more. That's fine, but um. That seven works. It works. It's in a red bottle. It's called S. It's spelled S E V I N. That's why I had to get out here because I did not want this stuff spreading. Um, yeah, like I said, it was on my light fixtures. I still see some. It's like really bad. So I'm about to get some more and spray up close because they're trying to get away. I'm spraying around the garden beds on the ground. It's like really bad. really bad like let me let me turn this around and show you guys right here can you see that aphids aphids in here aphids so I'm about to spray the seven spray the whole the remainder of the stuff here and um, 
heal, heal what I can. That seven always works for me. It's not organic, but you use it in the yard, and it's um, sorry, it's potent. It works. So um, I didn't till these garden beds, but um, I'm gonna turn the camera off and finish spraying this seven out of this world right now.
bumblebee just buzzed me. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, I don't know if you could tell I got all in my cabbage bed um, right here. They were on my flowers and these um, hangers right here. They were all in here. So, um, yeah, I got down in my cabbages. Pick this mess up here. I even washed down. The waste barrel right here so I'm gonna leave this container here for the night um, I'm done I'm done I could um I really can't do anymore sorry I was just looking at my bok choy um, I mean they're just they're probably all over me I'm gonna go in the house and jump in the shower Make sure I dunk my whole entire head and use tea tree oil to kill anything on me. By the way, aphids really don't bother you. They want your plants. They want to suck the life out of your plants. So will they hop on you? Yeah, but they'll probably die. Um, I just heard it again. It flew away. <laughs> Either it was a dragonfly or something, but you know, they go buzz. So anyway, um, I'm done. I've done all that I could do out here. But it looks like the seven is working. I will see in the morning when I come out to see if aphids have um, have come out here. Will have hopped back on my plants, which some probably will. I don't know about those garden beds over there that I tilled. I don't know about those, but. Um, and I really got up under my cabbages, especially the ones that I want to keep. Because guess what? I'm going to wash them off really good anyway with hot water and salt and everything else. So, yeah, I went ahead and sprayed them. Um, I got in the ground. I even kind of lightly sprayed my grapevine. But they were in my flowers. And that's what I meant why I had to come out here and take care of this today. Because as you can see, we're getting breezy. We're supposed to have um rain tomorrow night it's supposed to have rain and in this town with rain comes wind um the other two garden beds that have lettuce and cabbage and stuff i sprayed those with the seven um i didn't pull anything out because i'm just just done i'm just done for today i couldn't believe how bad um how bad it's been um and one thing i noticed i didn't do a lot of this fall is usually I take my Chapman container, fill it with um, neem oil, halfway with neem oil and water, and I literally go and spray the entire yard. Just spray it because if it's getting on my garden beds, it's definitely getting in my soil. So, um, yeah, I thought I saw one or two on my tulips, but um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I got it. You know, at first, like like I was telling you, I thought I was going to pull all of that soil out. But I was like, either way, either I'm going to till it and spray, till it and spray, or pull all the soil out with all those aphids and take a chance of spreading it throughout the yard. Either way, it was going to be work. So, I'm trying it this way first. <clears throat> tilling, spraying seven. Tilling, spraying seven. Tilling, spraying seven. If this doesn't work, but I think the seven usually works and I haven't used it in about a year and a half. If this doesn't work, <clears throat> then I'll take the soil out, throw it away and start over. Go buy like 25, 30 bags of soil from my garden center. I mean, from my nursery, because they have really good soil. Probably be over two, $300. And clean, sanitize and refill and start over. Um, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. The bottom line is, is that aphids come. So my thought was, if I take the soil out, I'm going to put new soil in. It's just going to be fresh soil for new aphids. I'm like, seriously. 
So let me work with what I have, try to kill off what I have because your soil de deplenishes anyway after you plant and start gardening and doing putting nutrients and stuff in your soil, it, it diminishes. So I might as well use what I have, try to kill everything out of it, and then I'm going to add new soil in a minute to it anyway. So we will see in the morning. Hopefully it will not be as bad. I mean, it was literally, it just seemed like it was like a white sheet on top of the garden beds. Um, so next year I will definitely not be putting any of my brassicas, lettuce, or anything on this side. I'm going to put root plants, um, garlic, carrots, beets, turnips, whatever, um, over here. And then closer to the shed, I'll put my, um, my broccolis, I got tissue somewhere, my, um, my broccoli, my Brussels sprouts. Um, all of that I'll be doing all of that over there because I do not want it getting to my trees and berries and tomorrow I'm going to go check my trees and berries to see if I see anything because we all know aphids spread they multiply um, very quickly but from what I see they haven't gotten on my trees they were really they just really wanted these vegetables so um, next year I need to take a look at this video and make sure I don't plant stuff like this over here plant it over there so um, yeah that's it I'm tired I'm gonna go sterilize and sanitize my body and as I always say please find peace within yourself before I say that because I always say that even though I was hustling and bustling and fighting with these aphids you know what when i'm in my garden i feel so good whether i'm fighting pest harvesting planting doing something different i feel good when i'm in my garden and that's how i find peace within myself because i know that i'm doing something that's beneficial for me and my mom and just putting your hands in that soil it just brings just brings peace out in you so, I'm going to say it, as I always do, please find peace within yourself, and please be peaceable with each other. I love you all. Have a beautiful Saturday evening.